born on a Monday. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be exploring the origins of Solomon Grundy. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, Grundy. Holy overmatch, Batman! No one can handle Solomon Grundy! As with most comic book characters, there are often reimaginings and different versions to a character's past. We have chosen to primarily follow the storyline which unfolded in 1944's All-American Comics number 61, which was then expanded upon in 1995's Batman Shadow of the Bat. This mysterious creature was first introduced on a foggy Monday evening when two escaped prisoners took refuge on the outskirts of Gotham City in the remote and supposedly haunted Slaughter Swamp. The pair had figured that they would be safe as no one ventured there due to the legend of Cyrus Gold, a wealthy man that was blackmailed by a prostitute and murdered before being disposed of in the swamp 50 years earlier. To their surprise, Gold's walking corpse did emerge from the quicksand. As it shambled towards them, they fired their guns on the creature in vain before meeting their untimely end. Stealing their clothing, Grundy wandered into a nearby camp filled with criminals. Instead of being attacked, he was asked for his name. Responding with the phrase, I was born on a Monday, he was told that that bared a similarity to a nursery rhyme about a man named Solomon Grundy. Pleased with the comparison, the zombie took on Solomon Grundy as his new name. However, when one of the men tried to touch him, the mindless creature threw him into the air, demonstrating his enormous power. Standing in their burning campfire, he also showcased that he could not be harmed. Amazed by what they saw, the criminals decided to make Grundy their new leader. Taking Grundy to the city to begin a crime spree, they dressed him in a suit and armed up by stealing guns from a sporting goods store. During their holdup, Alan Scott, the first Green Lantern, showed up and attempted to thwart the crime before the police arrived and opened fire on Grundy with their Tommy guns. Grundy told stupid soldiers to stay away, but soldiers still come. Now Grundy crash! Unable to harm the monster, Alan Scott became the Green Lantern and summoned the power of his ring. Remarkably, the green rays proved completely useless as well. As the Green Lantern stood aghast in disbelief, Grundy made his escape. Trying to piece together the mystery of Solomon Grundy, the radio came on and revealed that the only piece of evidence found at the crime scene was a silver ring engraved with the name Cyrus Gold. The following day, Solomon Grundy robbed a jewelry shop safe before committing a large-scale crime spree around Gotham. When the Green Lantern tried to stop Grundy again, he was quickly incapacitated. Ordered by his henchmen to kill the Green Lantern, Grundy threw him off a balcony. Amused by the array of green colors that followed the Green Lantern's fall, he began to kill his own men in an effort to do it again, and was only stopped when the remaining henchmen instructed him to. Fortunately for the Green Lantern, he didn't die, but had instead landed on a car and fell into a coma before being taken back to his apartment by his sidekick, who had heard about Grundy's murderous spree on the radio. Fortunately, the Green Lantern soon awoke and returned to continue the fight, despite being dazed and forgetting his power ring. Finding Solomon Grundy at the train yard, the Green Lantern fought him with his bare fists, ultimately defeating him by flinging him into an oncoming train. After Grundy's defeat and disappearance, the Green Lantern met up with his sidekick and pieced together that the Silver Ring had been the key to Grundy's identity. They also deduced that Cyrus Gold's reanimated body had fused with the rotting wood in the swamp, making him immune to the powers of the Green Lantern. Wood, of course, being the original Green Lantern's only weakness. An unkillable zombie supervillain, Grundy returned to threaten the people of Gotham on several occasions, joined the Legion of Doom, and faced off against countless heroes, including both Batman and Superman. Loose part! Are you sure you're a licensed mechanic? Sure! Say so right here! Solomon Grundy! In recent years, this supervillain has gained a wider appeal and has become recognized as one of the strongest villains in the DC Universe. He's appeared across various media, including cartoons and as a boss in the Batman Arkham City video game. Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday. Are you a fan of the unstoppable zombie supervillain? For more comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. No one escapes justice, not even the undead. 